Churchill, Manitoba is proud to call itself the polar bear capital of the world. But recent changes in the environment and the dramatic loss of Arctic sea ice are threatening the largest land carnivores on the planet. Joining me now from Churchill is Dr. Andrew DeRoche, professor, scientist, and one of the top polar bear experts in the world. Now, you've been studying polar bears for 25 years, and this really is a critical time for the animal, isn't it? I think it's very clear that uh, polar bears really are at, uh, at an important juncture in their history. A species that's existed on this planet for over 300,000 years really is being put at risk by the current changes that we're seeing in their habitats. We're seeing it in Churchill, Manitoba, and the population that lives in this area, but we're also seeing it in other parts of the Arctic, and this is really a circumpolar problem that we're dealing with. And what specific changes are you seeing there? The changes in this population in Churchill, Manitoba are, are really manifold. One of the most important changes and sort of one of the earliest indicators that we had was that the bears are just not as fat as they used to be. So back in the 70s and the 80s when the research started in this area, the bears were in very good condition. They would come off the sea ice very fat. Now um, the sea ice is breaking up and melting about three weeks earlier than it used to, and the bears are really getting less time to feed. So they're in poorer condition. And the real concern we have is that the bears are really just losing condition. And that means that the cubs that they produce um, aren't surviving as well as they used to. And the population is actually in decline now. And so what message are you trying to get across? And, and what is it that can be done at this point in time? Is it already too late? Or can we really do something to, uh, to help the survivability of the polar bears? Well, I think that it's very clear that if we're going to act to try to save species such as polar bears and the Arctic ecosystem upon which they depend, it's really important that we start to address the issues very quickly. It's, uh, I believe that we do have time to change human behavior in a way that can mediate the environmental warming that we're seeing and hopefully preserve this species. This is not a species that does particularly well in captivity, so we don't have many options but to keep the bears alive in the wild. And I think that it's now time for humans to act and take these, these uh, issues very seriously. All right. Thank you, Dr. DeRoche. We appreciate all your time and all your work in the Arctic to protect those magnificent polar bears. Take care. Thank you very much. It was nice chatting with you.